I think this could be the best golf ball you could use for winter and it's only a pound. Let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video we are using Shrixen Distance Golf Balls. Chris, these golf balls cost a pound each. Pound each? Literally a pound each. So in winter, Bargain. how much would you spend on golf balls? Uh, as, as, as little as possible. Say, as little <laughs> as possible. So guys, if you don't possible. know Chris, Chris is a PJ professional and tour coach. You're using some Titleist, are you? Yeah, I'm using the usual Pro V1. Yeah. So um, what's going to happen is I'm going to try and prove that this is the best winter golf ball for just a bound by taking on Chris with his standard ball. Then we're going to swap over onto Chris's channel and you guessed it, I get to use a Pro V1 and he has to use the winter ball. A mystery ball on my channel. The more mystery. Are we gonna are we gonna spice it up a little bit? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we've got options. Oh, Winter I tell you options. what. Well, I'm gonna let you go first. I don't know why you've got driver out, but I'm just feeling it. Okay. <laughs> it's actually quite good. I'll give you that. That's why. Ah. Oh, you know what? I might hit driver now. Majestic. Is that a tee you've just picked up? That was a towering Thank you very fade. much. So what do you expect for a golf ball that you pay a pound for? And I must admit, I didn't pay a pound for these. These were given to me on the first tee at the Old Course by a subscriber. And I'm really sorry, I forgot your name. But these are actually logoed up as well with the St Andrews Old Course logo on. So I'm really hoping I don't lose these. Because they've got a bit of sentimental value, Christopher. Correct. But again, when it comes to winter, this ball's going to carry probably as far as the Pro V into the green. Greens are wet. And we're going to talk about the actual benefits you can get from them as well. Ooh. About landing angle and all that good stuff. Oh. Well, that wasn't ideal. And this is where them costing a pound comes in really well. That might be one down already. <laughs> <laughs> Very good potential of. Yeah, that really wasn't that good. And you see, you might lose golf balls in winter because it's a low sun. You might lose golf balls in winter because they plug. You might even lose them because of leaves. But you might lose them because you snap hooky off the first tee like I've just done there. So guys, comment below. Um, I don't know. Give us some support because I might need it looking at that tee shot. Right. Um, I think it was somewhere around here. It's brand new, that as well. First time it's been hit. So I quite like to find it. Got it. Oh, Five. it's done well. I really, yeah, I'm happy with that, to be fair. The dream continues. Nobody uh, wants to lose a ball with the first hit. Not the ideal angle in. It's not lying amazingly great either, I'm not going to lie. I'll say we've got 165. Oh. Big eight iron, hope for a flyer. I like oh, you Is that a steak on there now? Right. I had a lovely steak last night. Fill it. Not ribeye? Nope, fill it. Oh, a bit of ribeye for me. Go. Bunker. Oh, is that bunker? Is it good? Uh, I'm going to say, oh, it could be on actually. Look good in the air. Oh, you Ryan, Chris with the Pro V1's in the fairway. I'm not sure that's anything down to the ball, but it's a lovely opening tee shot. Right. So Chris, why would people think about using a one pound golf ball in winter, not all year round? So I think we find in winter, it's a case of, if we're not gonna get much run, so maybe a ball that goes a little bit further is gonna help us, something that comes off a little bit hotter. And then into the greens, we're not really relying on spin, especially when they start to get wet here in the UK anyway, is it's gonna basically drop and stop landing angle landing angle they're going to launch a little bit higher with a, a cheaper ball that's what they're designed to do it's, it's going to launch higher it's going to have more landing angle and it's going to stop pretty much where it carries so then you can probably be a little bit more aggressive into the flat and if you're a yorkshireman and you don't like losing money win-win correct i'm having flashbacks of the belfry oh yeah deposited about 30 quids worth there i think i'm gonna say Massive divot. 
Oh, that's all over it as well. It was a massive difference. <laughs> and the reason that you do get that little bit more landing angle, that little bit of a higher trajectory, is that if you pay more money for a golf ball, you get a more expensive cover, you get what you call a urethane cover. Now that's designed to launch a little bit lower than the other characteristics of the golf ball, the dimple pattern and the core of the ball cause the ball to spin up in the air, which is how you still get a nice high ball flight, but it launches that bit lower and then the spin helps it stop. You don't need that with these cheap balls because it's literally with that sound. Or in this case, it lands just short and releases out to be a pretty nice golf shot. Now, there are things that maybe you do lose when you use a cheaper golf ball, like feel around the greens and maybe feel on the greens with a putter. I'll let you go first, Chris, because I'm thinking yeah. it might be just you anyway, actually. You might lose feel on the green, but again, in the winter, we know we probably depending where you are, we're not going to be putting on perfect putting surfaces. Yep. So even just using the ball just for the sake of it, I can get out here and enjoy my golf without losing a lot of money. Whoa. Oh, that was a great effort. Great camera work by myself, if I do say so as well. Stick yeah. a mark on that, son. A mark on it? Yep. What well sand. A mark on it, no chance. They don't oh. call me Gary Martin. He's on your team. This for a one pound birdie, yeah, I'll put that on screen now actually. <laughs> Thoughts on that putting stroke? Horrendous. Needs work, Gaz. Go on, oh, go on. Oh, it's geez. just gone left at the end. Is Pot that good? I'll give you that one. Thank you ever so much. I thought that was in halfway, did you? I did, to be honest. There you go. I think actually that might have been mine, and then it's kind of used this bank and come down a little bit, but we'll, we'll repair them both, I think. Right, two honourable pars there for a half on the first hole. Oh, and shot. one this thing... Is, that, this is using Oh, look slow. at this. Oh, great shot. <laughs> and one of the, the big things you have to do when choosing a winter golf ball and a, a cheap golf ball is be consistent with it. Don't chop and change because what you might find is you struggle with putter putting yeah. distance. You struggle with maybe ball flights and things. You will get used to the ball flight over winter and then stick with it for a quid a ball. Yeah, I'd find something, stick with it, whether it's something maybe a little bit more expensive than a pound a ball, whatever your budget is, but commit to that through mm. the winter. You'll start to see a consistent ball flight. You'll get the feel around the greens and then you know it's not too far from maybe a Pro V. And do you think I'm going to lose any distance here using this ball to try and get on this green on the par four? No, I think you're going to get the, uh, I think you should get about the same distance. Wonderful. Still your honour, Chris, I'll let you go. Are you going for it as well with your I'm, Pro V1? I'm going to go See, the beauty it. here is if you lose it, you're losing about three, four quid. If I lose it, I'm really not too fussed. I'm losing a pint of stones, really. Yeah, I'm losing. yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's just a nice low trajectory as well, isn't it? That's why I might struggle with into the wind with this ball. Mm. I'm not allowed the tee anymore. Oh, you can have a tee. Thank yeah. you. For a small fee. <clears throat> I think that's probably on there, you know. Well, it'll be the first time. Oh, you've never driven this, have never you? Never driven this green. Of multiple times. I'm a trying. regular, Chris. I'll just stick this in the middle next to yours. Aye, yeah, all right. We'll believe that. Oh, it's a great How shot. good is that? A lot higher, like we said, launches. But it'll stop quicker, won't it? And the thing here, guys, is how much are you losing? If that ball's on the green for a quid, or a pound if you're in America, or a, a dollar. Maybe one dollar fifty. Yeah, looking at the exchange rate, Brexit. <laughs> it is shite at minute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I've got up to 500. I thought, oh, I'll see how much that is. 350 quid, I'm like, yeah. fucking hell. I got to $19,000 and it was uh, 13 summer. I was like, what? What really are you losing? And I was so confident I could hit that shot because if I didn't quite get it right, again, Yorkshireman, tight, only a pound. Correct, and you're still enjoying... As Peter Kay says, I should have pwned. <laughs> exactly, and you're still enjoying your golf because it's winter golf, we're not playing tournament golf, we're just having out here social game, friendly game. Friendly? Well, debatable about the friendly. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Better than losing a four quidder. Well, neither of us are on the green. 
That's depressing. It is very depressing. There's one just to the left and there's one just short of the bunker. I think I'm the one just short, Chris, and I hate to say this, but I absolutely ripped that. I hit mine pretty well. So you think I'm on the left? I think you're on the left, yeah. And if that golf ball has maybe cost me driving this green and cost me a shot on this hole, ah, should you be using an expensive ball? It, it's such a, a difficult question to ask. It's that, or do we find something in between? Do we find yeah. something that might give you a little bit more, not launch as high? Or would a more expensive ball have gone in the bunker? Because I'm Ooh. here, look, and you can see that's, I bet that's pitched somewhere here, look, pitched there. So. Yeah, not much run. No. Oh, actually, that's you. It is me, yeah. Way, I've done him with the Srixen. Way, everyone buy a Srixen. <laughs> yeah, the Srixen's run. I'm the one just short, Chris, and I hate to say this, but I absolutely ripped that. I hit mine pretty well, so you think I'm on the left? Oh, it's a nice angle from up here, Chris, much better. I know, that's what I was hoping for. Might even put this. I doubt it. Shows you how far right you've got to go there, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought mine was in trouble, but... Oh, lovely. Lovely shot. Would you put this? I would not. I, what I would do here is I'd three wood it. That's not a shot I'm comfortable with, Chris. I'm, I'm going to revert to type and go lob wedge. Shoot him down. It's just not my kind of thing, that. Well, it's another beautiful this afternoon. Oh, pretty good. What a shot. Three, you would. Mine landed and stopped pretty quick. Yours had, what, six, seven yards of run out? Yeah, I mean, it landed just here, didn't it? That could be down to the slope. I'm closer though, is that good? Well, no, we're not playing those games. Oh, fine. We'll see that in. Right, no problem. My friend, you've been spending some time with Gaz. It was given. You first, son, get yourself, uh, get yourself settled. <laughs> oh. Never in doubt. <laughs> oh, side door. I nearly fell then. I, don't, I moved my leg, I didn't realise which way I moved it. Right, level, birdies. One pound, four pound. Right, guys, you're going to want to stay tuned to this because this is my favourite hole on the golf course and I'm one under par with a one pound golf ball. I almost feel like I'm, I'm really one up in the, the grand scheme of things because you've had the advantage. I mean, you keep telling yourself that, but I don't know how I've had the advantage. Because you're using a more expensive golf ball. That has to be an advantage. Yours went a little bit further. You know, it'd be interesting to test a cheap golf ball with an expensive driver or a cheap driver with an expensive golf ball. Oh, that would be ex not expensive. Interesting. <laughs> it might be expensive if you lose a lot of them. Right, final hole on this channel. High towering fade. Oh, it is a high tower. That is lovely. Sergio, eat your heart out. That was a towering fade. It was, weren't it? Now, this is interesting. Can I knock it past that? Because you mullered that, didn't you? That was near the centre of the old clue face. Whoa. It's a bit right. Is that on the... Well, we'll see. Two interesting tee shots there. I hit that okay. It's taken on the wind a little bit, and that's one problem that you might get. We're using a cheaper golf ball, obviously, if it's launching higher. There's every chance that it might uh, get tucked with the wind, whereas yours held its line a little bit more. Yeah, true, but that's again what you're paying for. I mean, this is a tight hole, it's a tight tee shot. It is shot. a tight tee shot, it's a very lovely hole though. I'm looking forward to birdieing it and going one up over on Chris's channel. Before the mystery ball? Mystery ball, <laughs> mystery ball. Right, Chris, yours didn't quite fade enough, and this is playing a long way today. I'm actually in the trees down there, which isn't... Uh, isn't ideal. I don't think distance-wise I'm too bad. Oh, I might go a chippy seven. Oh, a chi Ooh, treat yourself. You've convinced me that it's playing into an absolute holy. <clears throat> oh, how good is this? Off the slope. Come on, come on. Oh, it stayed there. Oh, my God. 
Great shot though. Yeah, it wasn't bad, another crater for yeah. the boys. Right, this is where a one pound golf ball might cost me a 40, 50 pound shaft if I don't get this right, but this is where I played the best shot ever on YouTube, remember? I bet it, to be fair, we hit it in pretty much the exact place <laughs> yeah, we, did, we did yeah. on that. I actually wonder if it was this gap I was in. Mind the gap. You're not going to have much swing here though, it might be a little bit of a, a low scuttler, oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Wee. Oh, it, well, it's well out. Is it green? Oh, oh is how's it? that for a finishing position as well? Bit of backspin as well on the old one. Tell you what, ball. I've done this before. That could have gone a lot worse. I wish I'd played that with a six iron, not an eight, because uh, that would have run up the green nicely. Chris's is just a little bit long downhill slider but it comes down to the wire on this channel put off are you putting that oh. and that's how good these Shrixen balls are that's left one two three four pitch marks oh five pitch marks with that one shot people who are coming here to Woolly Park and playing like that you're not welcome bring a pitch mark repairer Right, big right to low, three woods out, ready. Three woods out to prove a point. Oh, even more right to left than you thought. Yeah, slower than I thought as well. I right, don't like the, the way this is looking actually now. The opposite shot, left to right, down the slope. Just get it working down there. Three wood. It's majestic from the three wood. It is, but you want to bring your putter? No, three wood that in if you're not giving me that. I thought it were a friendly game, this. <laughs> Beautiful. So what we're saying is I need this to not be one down. Well, it'd be a rarity. It really would, wouldn't it? Into my channel. Having a lead. It is not a regular occurrence these days. I don't think it's going to happen now. I fancy this. I fancy this. No chance then. This is you lay this up in the jaws. Oh, get in there, guys! That is one down going to Chris's channel with the one pound golf ball. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Go and check out part two on Chris Golf. Apart from that, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.